And joining us now is Democratic Congressman Josh Gottheimer of New Jersey and Republican Congressman Don Bacon of Nebraska, both members of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus. Welcome both. Happy election, post-election days. Uh -huh. We could all take a, a deep Thank breath. You. We know the out outcome now that we know. Uh, Congressman Bacon, top Republicans on Thursday announcing they're going to focus on Joe Biden and his family, claiming, you know, corrupt dealings, targeting Hunter Biden, of course. So what happened to all of the issues uh, that the Republicans well, ran on, like inflation and the Those economy? issues will, will come up. Uh, what you're seeing is one committee out of nine or ten, and that's their priority in the oversight committee. Uh, but you're going to see from, like, the Ag Committee, the Farm, farm Bill, uh, you're going to see on the Defense Committee uh, priorities on, on the defense, uh, the NDAA or the defense authorization. Appropriations are going to try to get spending under control so we can work on inflation. Homeland Security will be working on the border. You heard the priority of one committee, and that was the Oversight Committee. And I do think we should make clear, though, that's only, we've always said oversight's important, but the priority, obviously, is inflation, energy independence, the border, and uh, the Republicans need to remind the voters that's what we want to do. Well, they did not do that, you know, in effect yesterday in real time. And the Oversight Committee is going to grab a lot of not only attention, but it could really mm -hmm. tie the White House in knots, Congressman Bacon, because I, I saw it happen before with Benghazi I, and with, well, you know, all kinds of staffers having to pay for lawyers. And it, it just grinds any White House to a halt. I watched it under Obama and... and you know, also under Bill Clinton. So hopefully, hopefully it's not under uh, President Trump as well. President Trump had two years of same kinds of oversight. Uh, I mean, I think there's a balance here. You don't want we should not go overboard, but there is there has been a lack of oversight in my view. Oh, this past two years, we've very seldom called in at least on the House side. The Senate side has been a little different. Uh, there is a place for oversight, and but I will just again remind: this is the Oversight Committee. There's like nine other committees. That will be focused on these other priorities that we have. Uh, I do think it's incumbent upon uh, Kevin McCarthy to make sure we stress it's not just oversight, but we got to take care of the breakfast table issues of inflation and energy independence and gas prices and things like that. So your point's well taken. Uh, Congressman Gottheimer, what about that committee's work and the aggressive language that we're hearing from Margaret, Marjorie Taylor Greene and others who are going to now not only have a seat at the table, but she says she's fighting for a committee chair. Uh, well, you're listening, you're always going to have... Well, what I'm just I was say, wondering, is that going to make right. it harder for the, for the bipartisan problem solvers to get work done, if that's the, old, the, the tenor that's coming out of the Republican majority? Well, to, Don, to Don's point, uh, and Don's a great leader, you're always going to have people screaming from the wings and right there's uh you get some of that in both parties um but then of course as we saw in this last congress you get plenty of people like don and others in the problem solvers caucus who are actually interested in getting things done and we did get a bunch done in a bipartisan way right from infrastructure to chips in china um uh, and building more domestic manufacturing here uh, to standing by our veterans i think you'll see more of that obviously we've got issues we're going to have to work through together on the debt ceiling as don rightly pointed out on energy on on standing up to China, on, on the economy and affordability. There's plenty of work for us to do in protecting our homeland, and we will do it. And they'll, and listen, it's a tight majority, so I think there's a great opportunity for the Problem Solvers Caucus, which is 29 Democrats and 29 Republicans, to continue doing what we've done, which is work together, find common ground, and get things done. Congressman Bacon, uh, Kevin McCarthy, unlike Steve Scalise, was noticeably absent when Speaker Pelosi was giving her speech about stepping down after all these years. And he said he was at a meeting, but apparently from reporting on the Hill, he was at a meeting with Stephen Miller, who was widely believed to be one of the most uh, ferocious partisans uh, in the Trump White House. What kind of message is he sending by not attending? No, I, I assume he was notified there was Speaker Pelosi was doing her uh, speech that she was going to step down as, as the, the speaker or as, as the Democratic leader. I would tell you, I didn't get that. I, I We were going to meet with the problem solvers yesterday, and we heard that the Democrat side was going to hear Speaker Pelosi, but we did not know what was going to be on the floor. And so I was a bit surprised myself when uh, she was also we see her on the floor giving her speech because I didn't know it. And I know uh, the Republican leader of the problem solvers also told me he wasn't aware of it. That's Brian Fitzpatrick. 
And so there wasn't really a lot of information on what the plan was. So I, I don't really know what Kevin McCarthy knew or didn't know. I, I do believe that Speaker Pelosi's been historic, she's an historical speaker. She's held control for a long time. I haven't agreed with a lot of her positions and the way she's conducted the House. Uh, but I do admire that the fact she's led for so long as, as a speaker. But I will just tell you, I did not know that she was going to be on the floor giving the speech. And I know many other Republicans did not know. So it is possible Kevin McCarthy did not know either. And uh, Congressman Gottheimer, what is your forecast of how this is going to work with such as a narrow majority? Does that bode well for working together, for needing each other to get some big things done or not? Well, no, I think the Republicans are going to have to decide, and I know where Don's head is on this, but Republicans are going to have to decide if they want to sit at the table and, and work together, which means they're going to have to bring Democrats and Republicans to the table and, and be willing to take 80% uh, of what they want and 100% of what they want to get things done. We've got plenty of work to do for the country. We've got to keep doing it. You don't just stop working for two years and, and obstruct. And, you know, I, I believe, you know, this is the fundamental work of the problem solvers, both and those of us in the House and by partisan members in the Senate to, to keep working and fighting for the folks we represent. And it's so I'll leave it to their leadership to obviously make that decision how they want to approach the next two years in the House. But I'm hoping and you've got a willing partner to, to look for places where we can work together. And I think there are plenty of places we can do it. And that's what the country wants. Congressman Josh Gottheimer and Don Bacon. Yeah. It's, it's good to hear. I, I second I, Josh on that. He's, he is uh, right on board. He's a great leader on the Democrat side of the problem solvers. We do need to work together. If you want to get legislation out of the Senate, it takes people like working with Josh and the problem solvers to get legislation that's bipartisan enough to pass the filibuster. Uh, so Josh has a good partner with me because we're going to, we want to move our country forward. And our, we have the best country in the world. We cannot be stuck in neutral. And it takes bipartisanship to, to move our country forward. Well, it's great to have Thanks, you from both parties here uh, talking about it together. Come back often and let's have progress reports. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Got you both it. very Thanks much. So much.